Okay, so this is my Hobby King uh, uh, 5.8 RC305 FPV system that I'm going to do. A little Sony camera, uh, 520 TV lines. And it comes with a cable, which I'm going to have to change by the look of it for the uh, connector isn't correct to go onto my uh, transmitter. So what I'm going to have to do here is separate the wires off and I'm going to have the black, the red and the yellow going into the camera and the yellow is going to go to the white and then the red and the black and then that's going to go into the camera. So I'm going to cut this off, solder these wires on, blank these two off because I've got no sound on this uh, camera and then obviously the power lead is going to go to the battery. So that's my transmitter and the short little aerial goes with that. A long, slightly longer uh, chubbier aerial is going to screw onto the receiver, uh, receiver and then I have a AV out and I can use either one of the two there's two on here and obviously power lead in which is this lead here so that's my little FPV setup so far and we'll speak to you when I get a little bit further okay guys this is the final FPV setup the final little bit for you to know about we have a seven inch monitor okay and lots of little connections here basically this is just a one connection which joins up here and we have two feeds in if we need to one power supply which is connected into the battery at the moment okay so all you need on the out that is the negative and the positive I'm going to connect this into uh, one of the monitors there's V1 and V2 we're going to go to V1 we only need the yellow lead because we've got no sound on this one so we're going to go across and then connect that to the receiver. Now the receiver's got a uh, clover leaf on that. We have a power lead out, uh, or in I should say, and then the uh, AV out. So we're going to connect, leave that there, and we're just going to pop the yellow lead to that. So that's connected. Quite simple. All I've got to do then now is connect to the receiver is going to put the power lead from the battery to the receiver and this is going to be a bigger battery because it's powering the monitor and also the receiver so this is just for now just temporary for setup in here these two wires the red and white are redundant as I said I've got no sound on there so the receiver is now showing that it's got power to it okay little red light you can see here hopefully Okay, so we're just going to stand that there, just push out of the way for a moment. This is my little uh, pack I've made. We've got the uh, planar antenna screwed to the receiver. As I said earlier on, I've got five wires. I only needed three. The white one is for sound, connected to the yellow to the receiver. This is from the camera, the white, the red and the black. Black to the negative red to the positive, that's always going to be your feed, your red is hot, uh, positive feed, and your black, your earth, and then if you had a white wire um, coming out for sound, then you'd obviously connect that to the white wire and the green wire, which I've just uh, sealed up on the ends here and take them up out of the way. Just made a nice little box, just out of foam board for now. This one isn't adjustable or anything else, it's just a camera angle, it's not 100% tight in that moment, I need to work out a camera angle to put on it, probably pointing down a little bit like like so would be better and I've just secured it so it's a nice little pod so I can move it from plane to plane by putting a cable tie through uh, each side and cable tying it down i.e. this is the one I've built for the Bixler and that's going to sit onto the plane the elastic uh, wing support is going to hold that down onto it and that's going to sit on as I said, I may, may look at making a, a tilt uh, system um, for it. I have got one from Hobby King, a little pan and tilt 
uh, set, which is about two dollars I think it was. Uh, I'm going to put that on there. Uh, I might then mount the antenna at the back here, pointing up at the top of the plane, the receiver, the uh, transmitter even. That's basically it. So if I connect up now, what I'm going to do is I've got a little connector on here that uh, I've got and that connects into the um, parallel port on here. So it connects in there. That's going to give me a little red light. I don't know whether you can see the little red light inside there. So that's now transmitting. Okay. Connect the power onto the receiver we've already done. Power onto the screen. And it's on AD1, so we're going to flick it across to there and take the camera lens off. And hey presto, we have a picture of that's where I'm videoing from, you guys there. That's the little screen. Receiver. And I'm coming down to the battery. And there's my ugly face. <laughs> so that's basically the system. I know it's a bit of a mess with the wires at the moment. As you can see, that's now got... It does change quite considerably for the light. It's quite a good camera. It changes. And then it goes darker. So you've got light changing down to dark. Illuminating, changing back up. And going back to bright again, it's dimming down. So it seems quite good. It's a little Sony camera, as I said earlier. And there we go. So hopefully if there's any questions, uh, do, do feel free to uh, inbox me or post me. But that's a simple FPV setup on a 5.8 uh, with a Sony camera, little Sony camera, and a 5.8 transmitter, receiver, with a planar antenna uh, for distance. And I have done a range test on this. And it is, I've done over 800 metres and I'm still getting a picture uh, direct uh, in a line of sight. Clover leaf on top of the uh, receiver. I'm just using one battery to power up. I know there's a lot of cables here, uh, not all of them are used. Uh, as I said, the blue lead's not used onto this one, there's just a power in and out for that. And that's it. Any questions, give us a shout, guys. Cheers. Thank you.